Derg River is formed by two main tributaries, the River Derg and the Mourne Beg River. The Mourne Beg River flows from Loch Mourne in County Donegal and winds its way through large areas of peat bog, which further downstream have been planted out in commercial forests. It merges with the River Derg approximately 2.5 kilometres above the town of Castle Derg in County Tyrone. Meanwhile, the River Derg rises in Loch Derg in County Donegal, famed for its monastic island, and again flows east for approximately 12 kilometres before it merges with the Mournbeg River to form the Derg River. The Derg River flows through the Lower Derg Valley, passing along the edge of the town of Castle Derg before flowing into the River Struel, just below the village of Ardstraw. The landscape of the Upper Derg catchment is dominated by large areas of open peat bog. Here, turf cutting can degrade the peaty soils and cause many tiny particles to run off the land into the river, colouring the water. The Killeter Forest is one of the largest areas of coniferous forest in Ireland. Forestry is the main land use for the upper sections of the Derg and Mournbeg rivers. Timber harvesting on such fragile peaty soils risks the soil from freshly harvested areas being washed off into nearby watercourses. This wetland, with its plentiful supply of rain, gives rise to the growth of rushes which presents a challenge to farmers trying to meet agricultural land management requirements. In recent years, the quantities of a herbicide called MCPA, used to kill rushes and docks, has been increasing in our rivers and lakes. Unrestricted livestock access to our rivers and lochs and the over-application of slurry and fertiliser in the soils can all increase the risk of soil and nutrients loss to watercourses. The Derg River is a precious source of drinking water for people who live in the area. Before it can come out of your tap, the water is treated to a high standard to remove the contaminants washed into the rivers and lochs. The flashy nature of the Derg River means that when it rains, the water runs quickly off the land, carrying contaminants with it. Sediment, herbicides, colour and all other impurities must be removed by Irish water and Northern Ireland water in order for our drinking water to meet stringent water quality targets. The more contaminants there are in the water, the more challenging and costly that water treatment process can be, and multi-million scale investment is often needed to ensure pesticides are all removed. In Derg water treatment works between Castle Derg and Ardstraw, the water is screened to remove debris before entering two large mixer tanks where it is dosed with lime to change the acidity of the water and aluminium sulphate to enhance the coagulation process. Air filtration systems create millions of tiny bubbles which stick to particles of soil and peat and cause it to rise to the surface, where it decants off to sludge holding tanks. The water must then be passed through large tanks filled with tiny pieces of carbon, which filter the water to improve the taste and odour and remove the herbicides. If there are high quantities of herbicides such as MCPA in the water, it means that the carbon becomes quickly saturated with the MCPA and needs to be taken off site more often to be replenished. This increases the costs of water treatment. Finally, the water is tested again to check the quality before it is of a suitably high standard to be piped out to our homes and families. The Source to Tap project is a 4.9 million euro EU Interreg 5A funded project which aims to contribute to improvements in water quality in the Erne and Derg cross-border river catchments that are a source of our drinking water. It is piloting changes in land management techniques such as fencing of rivers to exclude livestock and replacing boom spraying of MCPA with weed wipers to apply herbicide for rush control, which helps to reduce the amount of herbicide running off into our rivers and streams. The project is also working with local communities to raise awareness about where our drinking water comes from, carrying out school visits and community events. Volunteers in the Derg are being trained in the Riverfly monitoring technique and equipped to monitor the quality of their local rivers. By checking the tiny Riverfly creatures called invertebrates that live in the bottom of our rivers, we can tell how clean the water is. Our drinking water is precious and we can all make a difference in protecting it. Thank you.